this should be set up proper. Okay, good, good, good. Back to Sierra. Intro. Intro, right? Oh, very tiny. Someone's being burned alive. There is tears and surprise and turning into a jaguar. Spin, spin, spin. Wow, 3D. And there's a snake. And the hanging man. Bad deal. Uh oh. Didn't have a good time. Very scared. Waking from a dream. Okay. Jane Jensen. Got I got a creepy font going on. Lots of satyrs and witches and people getting murdered. Trampled. Is this repeating? No, QA. QA wouldn't be at the beginning. It's not repeating. I don't think. Gams! Look at the gams on that one! Stuart M. Rosen. Tim Curry! Mark Hamill! Wow! Leah Remini! These are people we know! Worf. Jim Cummings. Is this FMV full motion video or just voices? I think it's just voices. I think it's like a 2D guy. Oh, yeah. Day one. I dreamt of blood upon the shore, of eyes that spoke of sin. The lake was smooth and deep and black, as were, was her scented skin. I have no experience with this series either. Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. Leah! It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? Are you a detective? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Gabriel is allowed. Oh, I mean, he's out. Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, he could do that. I know I don't know you, but he could do that. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're <laughs> lively. Did you have a 
another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Scientologist got her this kick. I can't wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me... And Tim Curry is doing a gambit voice, yeah. Voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. The phone was ringing off the hook. Oh, okay. There's a lion face. I can walk, I can question, I can point at a mask, touch things, open doors, boop things. <laughs> I would like to turn... Oh, that's not... I thought that was settings. That is... No, this is settings. I would like the music to be just a smidge less. Uh, okay. Narrator voice. Is it, Can I turn that on? No, I want the text on. Narrator voice. With the text. Yes. Voice on. Yes. Okay. And is this saves? Okay, that's how that works. Start. It's not a terrible, terrible uh, system. Okay, great. Is this look? The magnifying glass is a handy item for reading old manuscripts or the fine print on Gabriel's lease. I don't know if I like that voice. We'll see if it that, that uh, grows on us. <laughs> Gabriel cannot see any way to pick that up. No wonder the de narrator is off by default. Yeah. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. <laughs> Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. It's like you're getting a psychic reading at all times. Tell me what Miss Cleo has to say. <laughs> Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. It must mean I did something good. So the little yellow dot is the actual, like, clicky-click part. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. It's really bad. Fiction by the In other words, not written, not written by... Not written by Gabriel. Let's turn that off. <laughs> uh, yeah, just text. This is concurrent with Quest for Glory 4. So that's the, uh, you know, it sounds like they were recording in a dining hall, the the people uh, that just happened to work there. So, but they did get, like, these are, like, Mark Hamill, Tim Curry, you know. She got paid and then turned off by default. I love it. Today's newspaper is on the counter. I'm gonna take that. Can I have the newspaper? I might need it for when I kidnap people and prove that they're alive. Okay, front page is an article about the voodoo murders. Okay. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is no in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trappings found at the crime scene are fake, are fake, a scare tactic, and that murders murderers are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead, proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Mm -hmm. right. 
They should have got, uh, if they're going to do a voodoo lady voice, they should have got the lady who did uh, the voodoo lady in Monkey Island. I find her to be delightful. Tripod. <laughs> you going to get some coffee? Blessed caffeine. Give me, give me some coffee. My kidneys already floating things. Is this a donut? My kidneys already All floating right. things. How about I take some money? Give me that money. Certainly light enough, but rather useless, as Gabriel well knows. Is that a clue? Oh, Gabriel Knight birthday somewhere in range between January 20th to February 18th. <laughs> Noted. This looks... I'm gonna take your lamp. <laughs> it doesn't need an ashtray. Oh, that's what that is? Alright. Is this, is this a briefcase? What is this over here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm googling for clues. <laughs> Wouldn't dare touch oil paints. Is there something in this pocket? It's a bit warm in here. Gabriel decides to wait until he leaves to put on a coat. Leave my coat alone, Gabriel. Hey, what's up? I'm just playing along. <laughs> yeah, we, neither of us know anything about this, so it's realistic. I'm gonna ask you a question. Is that how you ask a question? Got a minute, Bryce? What's up? Oh. That is not what Leah Remini looks like, or Tim Curry. What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it. Until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop, a museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. It's a long coat. Probably has a deck of cards to get glowy and throw at baddies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely got the Cajun accent going on. Just started, I presume. Yes. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? <laughs> no. Well, I haven't been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Tell me about yourself, Bryce. Tell me about yourself. You're a white knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? How <laughs> come we haven't gone out yet? How do you like working at St. George's? What do you do? What do you do after work? How old are you? Just tell me anything at all. <laughs> yeah. Just tell me anything at all. You made that creepy. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. All right, I ain't asking all that shit. Yes. Never mind. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Do you have messages for me? Dana called, and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Awesome. Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. That's not how you give messages. Me? Tell me them all. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great. And we had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Mm, okay. Nobody calls their grandmother my girl. That's real weird. But okay. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Okay. All in style. All right. Real old. Uh, da, da, da. Three snakes and a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy Daddy was. <laughs> Daddy was. Can I can I go up this here ladder? Just walk up there, guy. Sins of the father is subtitle, so that's a clue. <laughs> it's a clue. All right. 
Let's, let's leave. You can't take that. That's not what I mean, bro. Just walk. Walk out the door. Okay, I do, they do have an open door specific thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I didn't look at these little I'll notes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. The cathedral. Jackson Square and Napoleon's house. Historical voodoo museum. The Gambit vibe is so strong, I can't stop. <laughs> Let's go to the Voodoo Museum. Oh man, there is some full motion something, maybe. I don't know. Hi. Look around all you want. Okay, thanks. Alright. What's this guy doing? Street drummer. It reminds me of a book critic for the New York Times. He's got more hair than Mosley. What are the, what are all these dots? Looks like Jack Nicholson. Sure does. Gave, gives me the creeps. Such as an artist rendering of a voodoo dances in Congo Square in the early 1800s. Is that guy drumming? I think so. I don't know what this- you remind me of the babe references. Talk- hello. <laughs> Could I ask you a few questions? I wouldn't be much help. Y you're like- Dr. John Miller. He'll be back tomorrow. I see. Thank you. Y you're working at the desk! It's your job! <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be much help. So, how's the museum business? I don't know. I don't normally work. <laughs> yeah, don't be open then. Is this a snake up here? Very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. Beaded gourd. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to come here yet. Can I talk to that guy? <laughs> I was gonna turn off her light and see if you can do that. Don't- don't talk to her! She don't care! She's glad you're not talking to her. So is this- that's our bookshop, right? We're like the, uh... What you call it? We're like the Black's books and the- and, you know, Black books. Bernard, this yes. This is Dixieland Drugstore, and I own it, me. Name's Walker, Willie Walker. Willie Walker. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask what you want, I'll answer what I want. <laughs> Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? It's really this broad. This is a novelty shop, monsieur. <laughs> what do you know about the voodoo? Breeze sang for What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Those killings have nothing to do with my shop. Did you give me a clue of some sort? You'd know something, monsieur. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I lived there all my life, me. So, before he said New Orleans. What did you mean when you said Capri Saint Gaul? I didn't say that. You did. I heard you say it. I hurt you. You heard wrong, monsieur. I said no such thing. Tell me about yourself. My name is Willie Walker. I own the place. All right. Keep your secrets, Willie. I'll be back. The sign says, Special St. John's Eve... What is that word? <laughs> Free bottle of <laughs> Lover Come Back to Me oil or Master Gambling oil with every purchase over $50. Uh, d so, do I have a inventory of some sort? Oh yeah, okay. What is this button? It 
it's okay. That's to read a thing, open a thing, look at a thing. All right. And is this just a fancy scroll thing? Like the Croc Man? Oh yeah, look at that Croc Man. The Dixieland Drugstore is crammed from top to bottom with strange merchandise, some or all of which seem to be related to the practice of voodoo. Alright. I'm just gonna go around town saying stupid shit to people. French sounded shit. Here, let's see. Let's go back here. I, I know she don't know nothing, but maybe she a liar. Save this just in case she's a narc or something. Narc. <laughs> Does it actually? Okay, I didn't. Come. Yeah. Uh. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. You're walking off slow there, Jack. So how's the museum business? I don't know. Yeah, shut up. I'm gonna ask something else. I wouldn't be. Okay. All right. You're. I see. You're still annoying. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Slow walk. Slow walk. So long. So long. What made you think it was change? I don't know. I thought maybe I would just like say the word to her. Say some French words. Is this bench highlighted on purpose? Say la vie. <laughs> the chapel of St. Louis Car uh, St. Louis Cathedral consists of a raised dais an altar, two pedestals, and a choir area. Alright. Maybe there's nothing to do here. Maybe, maybe the, the, we should go to the things that are actually lit up. You went the longest way possible. Let's never come back. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's gonna give some confessions or something. I didn't know that's what those doors were. Scoomy. The confessional is empty and there doesn't seem to be a priest behind the window right now. May I help you ah! Child? Could you give me a blessing? I'd like to make a confession. Can I ask you a few questions? This is not how this the normally works. The confessional is not the best place for interviews, son. You can contact the parish offices if you need private counseling. I understand. Thanks, Bob. Is there anything else? Bless me. Could you give me a blessing? Do you feel the need for a blessing, son? Yeah. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right. If it will comfort you. Whew. I feel blessed. Peace be with you, son. Thank you, Father. Exit. I guess the door's out is here. Plus one to hit. <laughs> Peace be with you. Oh. The fuck? Hey. The other park visitors are enjoying their leisure and aren't interested in talking to Gabriel. Not even this guy? Dried piece. <laughs> Oil piece. The drummer is busy. All right. Let's go dig in this trash can. Gabriel doesn't want to take that out of the park. You can still look at it, Gabriel. Gabriel. 
Give a hoot. Don't pollute. This seems like a good place for a dead drop. Yeah, I agree. Oh man, they got that Seinfeld. Now that's music. Just go, woo! Two into their music to talk to Gabriel. I don't know. There, there's a there's a bang, bang. whatever the the whatever the bass. Don't tell me that doesn't remind you of Seinfeld. So many muses. Oh. I did turn down the... Can you hear it? Like, is it hard to hear the... The, uh... Voices? Hey, stop or... picking on me. I'll tell my dad. Well, let's go talk to this fucker. Interrogating a mind would be an exercise in frustration. You hear fine, okay. Jug band. A Cajun band, inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toe tapping can be. You white faced geek! You wanna eat my fist? He's causing some troubles over here. Go, go have a trouble with me. Mime hater. Here, let's save it. Time to kill a mime. <laughs> Not a Mike Birbiglia joke. Time to kill a mime. Time to bust a rhyme, Mike Birbiglia. Does <laughs> it means pick up, I guess. I thought it just meant I'm gonna lay hands on you. I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push that mime over. Why you nasty thing, you? I'll call the police. I will. I thought that was Chris Rock on SNL. I have no idea. I can't remember. What does the gears do? That wouldn't work on a mime. <laughs> Grind his gears. Shout! All right, kick him in the butthole. Yeah, he's chasing me. Keep going. Come over here, turd. Hmm. Very strange. Oh, is he still coming? Where are we taking this fool? Let's make him jump off a cliff. Oh, nope, now he's following the child. Hey, stop picking on me. I'll tell my dad. All right, let's leave this fucking park. Can I leave this way, please? How do I get out of here? This shouldn't be the... How, what is this? WTF? Oh, I see. He's got his tape recorder. Interesting. What do you know about the voodoo? Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, good. So that's where we were. Jackson Square. Vroom vroom. Four pair of binoculars are rigorously mounted on the cement floor. 
St. Louis Cathedral. The original church on the site was built in 1724 and was named for Louis IX of France. That church burnt in the Great Fire of 1788. The present church dates from 1851. When the saints go over there. <laughs> oh, over there. <laughs> That's what uh, Homer says, anyway. Lots of people to talk to. And that guy, that guy again, that I can't talk to. What's up? What's up? Hey! <laughs> Buddy, I think the place you're looking for is down on Earth. What's that supposed to mean? So... Having a good game? Shh. I'm concentrating. Fine. All right. Nothing like a good game of chess, huh? Yeah, well, this isn't a good game. This is torture. Oh, well. Have fun. Hi, right, how's it going? It's been ah. nice. I guess I could ask you a question. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. What if I just say weird shit like this? Does the phrase Capri Sanco mean anything to you? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh. Then I probably don't know anything about it. <laughs> I see. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? <laughs> I don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called La Bose too. But it wasn't very popular. Some people do believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What do you know about the voodoo murders? It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I never want to live anywhere else. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is it's some kind of voodoo holiday. Voodoo holiday. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. I see. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd, the ones you see, are mostly regulars. That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. And they're not fighting. They're all over each other. <laughs> in other words, they're in love. <laughs> you made that sound a little bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, creep. <laughs> Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes. You know? Like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. I like drums, but... This character really gets on my nerves. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say, enough already. Sounds like my life. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? I'm trying to be with my lady here. My lady? Part of it for me to stand in the way of romance. Maybe she wants to ask, answer questions. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. You want to know my son? Uh, on second thought, I don't think you can tell. Forget it. Can I have your drink? Hold on. No. Can I ask you some questions? I'm here to relax, baby. Buzz off. Right. Sorry. Fine. I'm gonna take your drink. <laughs> that belongs to Napoleon House. What do I need with a table? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I'm gonna go read them notes. Hi, Toki. How are you? I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Oh, joy. 
Uh, these got to be something, right? St. George's books could use some serious renovation, but Gabriel likes to think this place has character. I hope they're not anything. Well, fucking hell. Oh, God. Hey, kids. Bruno. How nice. Gee, a customer. Of yours, hardly. How's the flower business? Well, better than used book business, I see. Rare books. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Uh, Indy didn't have a long coat like that, and he could carry a ladder. I think you can carry a table with that. <laughs> yeah! Indy could carry all kinds of things. How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Well, I guess I don't need the money that badly. From the looks of this shop, I'm sure you will, my boy. And soon. You're like that fucking villain from Karate Kid 3. Fucking just a douchebag with a ponytail. Got a minute, Bryce? What's up? I see. Do you know what Caprice on Girl means? Hmm. No. Sounds yeah, thanks. It's a skull with a snake crawling through it. Get what you can and dump it. For real. <laughs> what can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Mm, never heard of it. It must be a local custom. New Orleans love any excuse to celebrate. Yang, yang, yang. Could you do some research for me? Can she look sure. up what them oh. words was? Come on now. Can't think of anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, fuck. Well, here. Hold on. Were there real questions about herself that we didn't ask? Got a minute, Bryce? Ask. What's up? Tell me about yourself, Bryce. We're just gonna go what through them. What else do you want to know? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. <laughs> as soon as I get it, I'll let you know. Have you been to your bedroom? No, I fucking didn't even think about it. <laughs> I will do that. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the map in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. What do you do after work? Well, I need to go to my oil painting class for my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go on board with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? That's rude, Gabriel. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything else. Oh yeah, we already did that. I just that. got my master's in history. <laughs> yeah. Not nice. Suit yourself. Creepo. Uh, I guess this is a door. Is it a door? It just didn't look like a door. Or it's like a screen. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned! Desk phone. Cheap but functional. Tap writer. Should I feel guilty? Nah. I can't tell what that is, bro. In a month of missing my mortgage, I'll be pushing those pencils on the street. He's a writer. Overflows of crumpled paper, mediocre glory, more books. Is this a mini fridge? Yeah, yeah. Bills from last Christmas gather dust on the floor. He's not paying shit. What is this? Jeans and t-shirt. Toilet. Mardi Gras mementos. 
BRB, okay. These, those are not all jeans and t-shirts. Look in there. I really gotta get around to cleaning up in there. What's in your medicine cabinet, boyo? Alright. There's nothing interesting in there. There's know. nothing interesting in there. There's gotta be something. This room is worthless. Oh, I can call someone. I see. Medicine cabinet. That's what I thought, but it said there was nothing to open in there. Oh, wait. It's already open. I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch up. Gotcha. All my clothes look the same, so. Typewriter's too heavy to lug around. I don't need them right now. I'm just gonna try to pick up everything. I don't think any of this is anything. Make your bed, fool. <laughs> Can I use my bed? <laughs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Not when you don't lay down. To the right of the lamp. Flashlight. It kind of looks like a beaker or a lava lamp. I might need a flashlight. Bam. If I threw that stuff away. All right. We'll take this towel. Never forget your towel, Gabriel. Did you get anything else from the front room? Tweezers and a magnifying glass. What is this? Turn on your stereo. <laughs> Remember the library in Venice? Is there like one useful book in this whole fucking building? Nod. I don't need the right now. I don't need the right now. Oh no. Well, open the trunk. And he doesn't want it. Is it in here? Or is it in the other room? Just read all the books in your shop. <laughs> uh. Bad form. <laughs> oh wait. These are- oh, damn it. I was gonna look at these big ones. Hold on. I thought I did look. Will this give me new locations on my map? Uh, the rollover text from Fate of Atlantis will be missed, yeah. It was certainly nice. Oh, oh, I clicked something! Go pick it up. Gabriel leaves through a German English dictionary. Let's see, mid tag means mid day noon. I mean, I knew that. Why did you need to know that? Spiel <laughs> means game. I also knew that. Heaven. 
You will hate, so I have to do it a bunch. I didn't know that. Okay, that's all of them. Spiel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that the only one? Oh nope. Book on snakes. Snakes are legless reptiles. Some snakes kill their prey with poison. Some by constriction. A snake smells are taste in the air with its forked tongue. The smells are passed back to a sense organ in the mouth. Constrictor snakes, however, sense their prey by vibration. Hmm. Did you know that medieval legends about dragons and giant worms are actually based on snakes? You know, dragons, devils, sea monsters, well, they've always been associated with snakes. Grace, get alive. <laughs> It would make more sense if you had it with you and you could look up stuff. Instead, you happen to read half a dozen important words. <laughs> yeah, that's not how I generally do books. Is this the same shit? Yeah, okay. It's neurotoxic venom is one of nature's most effective poisons, acting on the nervous system causing paralysis. The venom of a black mamba can kill a human being in four hours, if, say, bitten on the ankle or the thumb. However, a bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. Hashtag <laughs> kill Bill. <laughs> Three dragons! That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Hans Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling the guy was one sick puppy. Sick puppy. Okay. It's going dingle dongle, so I guess those are good things, but I'm real perplexed by the reasoning. Is he gonna. Okay. I'm glad I can skip it. <laughs> going dingle dongle. Gargoyle's heavier than it looks. <laughs> kind of creepy though. Okay then. All right. Well, we've we've got the here. We'll save this as Dingle Dongle. Can we go upstairs? I tried. Here, use the ladder. Is that how you do it? Is the dictionary different now? I'm to look down my shirt one more time. I'm leaving. Damn, that's kind of refreshing. I know what you're trying to refresh. Weird, Gabriel. Get down. Refresh, my memory. Yeah. Nope, that's the same. I'm gonna turn off the light. <laughs> Can I walk up here? Come on. It's unsafe. No upstairs. Okay. Do I have new th new things now that uh, I don't know? We've listened to something. <laughs> One more thing here. Oh God! Don't go! Don't go yet. Good luck. Can I open these drawers, perhaps? Hold on. Go back. Go back. I knew you were listening, so I came back. Close. Really? I forgot you were gone. There is a pile of shit over here. What is this pile of shit? Cookbooks. Too heavy to be moved. No, open the door. I'm just gonna take this painting off the wall. Did you drink coffee? I tried, and he said he was floating already. Have you raided the cash register? I pressed it, but he thought I was trying to take it. 
But maybe I just didn't use the right thing. Mmm, good coffee. Open. Okay. Take, take all of it. Gift certificate from a dismal failure of a promotion. $20, great. Take it. We don't, it's not like we need change. Gabriel, that's all the change money I have. Touch it and you can kiss your hand goodbye. Would I do that to you? I take the gift certificate then. I live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. Is a gift certificate for for our promotions? That seems not useful. Uh, generically, it has the store's name and amount pinned by Gabriel himself. Dingle dongle. <laughs> she is the boss of me. Touch it and you die. Everything. What does this button do? Is it like push a button? Boop, boop, boop. The word you use uh -huh. is so much more useful than all of these different things. Just use. Okay. It is indeed push. Okay. Oh, can I go up there? Select the destiny. Oh, no, hold on. I see, I see, I see. Grandmother Knight's house? Sure. Ding dong. Gabriel, I'm so glad you stopped by. Sorry it's been a while, Grandma. Not at all. Give us a kiss. Now, come That's a sit hug. Down. Tell me how you're doing. Okay. How you been, Gran? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Ah. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. Uh, no one ever plays Toonstruck, and it makes me sad. I love watching the horrified faces. I don't I don't know what Toonstruck is. Done anything interesting lately? I raised you. That's not lately, <laughs> Right. Oh, you know me, Gabriel. I always got my nose poked into something. It must run in the family. Ask her questions. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Do you know about voodoo? What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? What an odd question, Gabriel. And of course, you always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff. You get that from your father and granddad. I don't know anything about it, dear. Of course, it was very big in New Orleans at one time. But you don't hear about it so much these days. Too much else in the world to worry about, I guess. They're not very good at drawing wrinkly face. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Oh, Gabriel, nothing. And I don't want to. I sometimes wonder what this world is coming to. Gabriel getting called out by his grandma. Yeah. What can you tell me about New Orleans? What can you tell me? New Orleans is very southern. Of course, though, not as much as it used to be when I was a girl. It's gotten much more influenced by the East Coast and that California stuff. That California Still, stuff. It hasn't changed as much as other places, I reckon. We've always been happy here. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Hmm. I remember when I was a girl, we always had a St. John's Eve mass. The mass was set at midnight, and we held candles. One time on the way home, we were waiting by a large group of drunken revelers. They didn't hurt us. Was frightened. My father was furious. We never went to St. John's Eve Mass after that. 
Place to get candles. Got it. <laughs> Do you have any idea what Caprice en Gare means? Hmm. Something without something, I think. <laughs> my French is so rusty. I swear my mind is going. It's okay, thanks. See, you should have looked at a French dictionary, not a German one. The deal. Tell me about yourself. Me? Oh, surely you have something more interesting to talk about. Oh, come on, Graham. All right, then. What do you want to hear? What do you do all day? That's really rude. Tell me about the fall you met, Granddaddy. Well, you know I was born Rebecca Wright. My daddy owned a lot of land outside town. He grew peas, corn, cotton, all kinds of things. It was a good childhood, but my father was very strict. He didn't much let me out of his sight. I'm gonna ask her though. What do you do all day? You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. I also take long walks. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening up. You're not old. Oh, don't be foolish. I'm older than the hills. Tell me how you met Granddaddy. I met Harrison at a church revival. There was a traveling preacher back then. A big fella named Reverend Jim. I even remember his slogan. Come to me to find your way. Your granddad was sitting right behind me and my girlfriend Alma. And at one point, old Reverend Jim was flinging his hair around with his fire and brimstone antics. And a piece of it, one of those small add-on dudes for ma'am, went flying off. I swear, Harrison and I were the only ones that noticed. We both started laughing to beat the band. Everyone looked at us like we were a couple of loonies. It was then I knew that we were <laughs> Nothing brings two people together like a fly and toupee. How you feeling these days? Thick as a fiddle, and don't you worry your head about it. Just tell me anything at all. I had your father when I was 22. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after him, so I'm afraid I spoiled him rotten. Oh, nothing, never mind. All right, dear. Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Sins of the father. Tell me something about granddad. I'm just gonna go in order. Your granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. He worked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Tell me about my father. Your father was my own father. Child. How we adored him. Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. They were two peas in a pod. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course. But I also think she liked the finer family. Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number One and visit the family too? It would be a sweet gesture. Maybe I will. Dingle dongles. You know, you get prettier every time I see you. Oh, you. I'm gonna take your knitting. <laughs> How low can you get? <laughs> That's fair. Okay. I'm going to go up to the attic, Gran. Be careful of the dust. So tomorrow, there's magazines here. Is there magazines we want? Okay. So tomorrow we're gonna go through this stuff and go to the cemetery. Those seems like new things. We got 15 points. I'm gonna remind myself. Go to cemetery. Okay. So, interesting. Is that a minion? Can't be. Yeah, it kind of looks like a minion. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow.
Uh, this is interesting. I, uh, just curious to see where it goes. And I will see you then.